Welcome. The following information is provided to assist potential candidates in understanding all election related requirements. What's involved in being a candidate? Topics to be discussed include the election timetable, the nomination requirements, advertising and canvassing requirements, who may observe the election on your behalf, the counting system used, election night results, post-election day counts and the final results. On Friday the 14th of July, a notice is advertised inviting nominations for vacant positions in all councils. What this means is that candidates can commence lodging their completed nomination form with the NTEC. The electoral roll used to determine voting eligibility for the election closes at 5pm Tuesday the 25th of July. Candidates have until 12 noon sharp on 3rd of August to lodge their completed nomination form with the NTEC. Candidates are encouraged not to wait until the deadline to nominate as late nominations will not be accepted. Early voting centres will operate from 8am to 5pm, Monday to Friday, from the 14th of August to Friday the 25th of August. In addition to this, early voting centres will also be open from 9am to 5pm on Saturday the 19th of August. Early voting centres will be located in most regional centres. Election day is Saturday the 26th of August. Voting centres will be open from 8am to 6pm. Voters living in remote areas are to check with their local council to find when a remote mobile team will visit. Remember, voting is compulsory. It is anticipated that all formal declarations of successful candidates for all councils will occur on Monday the 4th of September. Details of this will be confirmed and advised closer to the event. Who can nominate? To be eligible to nominate, a candidate must be 18 years or older, an Australian citizen, enrolled in the council area for which you wish to stand. The nomination form must be completed correctly, include details and signatures of no less than three nominators who are enrolled in the ward or council for which you are nominating for. Provide a head and shoulder photograph of yourself which has been taken no less than six months prior. Nomination forms are available from the NTEC website or your local council office. Remember nominations close at 12 noon sharp on the 3rd of August. Who cannot nominate? There are conditions that may preclude individuals from being qualified to nominate. Potential candidates are encouraged to view the list of conditions in the candidate handbook. However, some conditions include being bankrupt or under arrangements with creditors under the Commonwealth Bankruptcy Act 1966, has been sentenced to a term of imprisonment of 12 months or more, which has not expired, be a current employee of the council unless resigned. If individuals are unclear of their qualifications to nominate, they are encouraged to seek their own legal advice as the NTEC does not provide this information. Nomination deadline. The nomination deadline is 12 noon sharp on Thursday the 3rd of August. All nominations must be in the NTEC's hand by this deadline as late nominations will not be accepted. Advertising and canvassing requirements. Campaign material used to promote a candidate must contain the name and address of the person authorising the advertisement and if the material has been printed, the name and physical address of the printer to be included. Canvassing for votes at a voting centre must be 10 metres or more from the designated entrance. How to vote cards. Candidates may develop their own how to vote cards. It is important to note that the voting system used for local government is different from the Legislative Assembly. Therefore, to ensure a voter completes a formal vote, you must include a message on your How to Vote card that reminds the voter to place a preference against all candidates. Who can observe on your behalf? Scrutineers. Candidates may appoint a scrutineer to represent them to observe polling and scrutinies. 
scrutineers must be authorised by you, the candidate, to undertake this task. A scrutineer appointment form must be completed and handed to the OIC of the Voting or Scrutiny Centre. Election night. Counts after 6pm. Votes cast at Voting Centre on Saturday the 26th of August are counted at each centre. All early and postal votes are counted at the NTEC office. Election night results will be displayed on the NTEC website displaying indicative results of first preference votes. Post-election day counts. All mayor counts will be rechecked by counting teams at the NTEC. All councillor ballot papers will be data inputted into a computer counting system and verified to ensure accuracy. Updated count figures will not be posted progressively throughout post-election week. Final results. Final results will not be determined until after 12 noon, Friday the 1st of September. The counting system requires that a quota can only be determined and preferences distributed after all postal votes are received and the final number of formal votes is known. Once this is completed, all results will be displayed on the NTEC website. For further information on any of these topics or other parts of the election process, visit ntec.nt.gov.au.